Hi everybody. Oh god, voice crack. How you doing? It's you. It's me. I'm Grant. You're my team. A uh, couple of things. First, we're one, we're back to normal in the original save file for this Let's Play. Um, but... There's a slight catch. Uh, this one is actually being recorded post-commentary, sort of. So, like, I've recorded the gameplay first and I've recorded the... I'm recording the audio right now um, for this one. The dog needs looking after in the real world, I'm afraid. I'm not saying that like it's a bad thing, I'm saying that because I have to. It is my obligation as a dog owner, please be kind to your pets. Um, yes, she has a bit of a stomach bug, so in the event that I go quiet, just assume that A, I'm running off to go and make sure that my baby doesn't crap and barf in the house, or two, <laughs> A and two, okay. Uh, that I just have nothing to say, or that there's, it was because of cutscenes playing. But for now, tell me about your day! Hi! Um... Yeah, so... I had a nice... A bit of ice cream, actually, yesterday. It was, it was really nice. <laughs> Trying to find things to talk about just while I'm keeping an eye on the dog. She's right there underneath the microphone, and I just... I want her to be all right, guys. I just, I, she needs to be okay, okay? It's a shame we had to wander around so much. Well, no stamp here to guide us. No Jesse or Wes to back us up either. Yeah, speaking of which, what should we tell Biggs? I don't want him to worry. Biggs is a big boy. He can, he'll be fine. If there's no viable path, we'll just have to make one. Just a quick once over, just to make sure that we didn't do the thing, like that we didn't forget anything, that thing, that we didn't do the thing, the thing of forgetting. I like to try and cover details, this unless, you know... Oh, hi. Um, yes. Sentry guns. Uh, mechanical, so electric. And these weird Kelpie-looking things, these... Terpsicult? I don't know. Terpsicult? Terpsicult? I don't know. Oh, my baby. Are you okay? Oh, she's a good girl. She's such a sweetheart. Oh, Black Labrador, in case you're wondering. <laughs> cool off. Watch yourself. My turn. I forget what these guys are actually weak to. I had to turn my attention from screen, so I don't know if I just used Decess or not. I feel like the weak to ice or wind. Tifa, stop straight baiting. Hi, B. Oh, Bambi. Roll over for me. Roll over. Okay. Go get it. I love her. Right, okay, so we're just gonna turn off the third artificial sun. Lights out. And that makes three. Enough to finally get our cargo platform moving. Better be. Okay, let's head on back to the H1 sign. I hope that Jesse's injury isn't anything serious. The best thing you can do to speed her recovery is to kick Shinra ass in her stead. I know, I know. And Cloud's got a cover for Wedge, too. When do we link up with Biggs? Soon enough, don't you work. He knew we might be late, so he came up with a few ways to kill time. We ought to reach him long before he dies a boy. And we're 
back at the cargo platform. Get ready, Mako Reactor 5. We're coming. Um, will this <laughs> break the cargo platform? <laughs> And the headphones are back on. I'm back. Oh, Pape. You're so cute. She's a seven year old. She's just had another period, another season, so. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, her stomach is jank AF, to say the least, right now. Poor baby. I'm not gonna real name the dog, but I will say that Powerball over here is... <laughs> Powerball is, uh... Well... She's tired. She's very tired. She's 49 and tired. Go girl. Oh, I love my baby. She's such a sweetheart. Actually, that's something you guys can tell me about. Tell me about your pets in comments. We should look what do you have? Inside. Dog, cat, fish, tarantula. Who You're in their right dog. mind? Right anyway. Could not be- Hey, queen! Okay. Yes, get it. Oh, I've been snapping my fingers and clapping Queen a lot lately because we got the Torna reveal for Crash Bandicoot 4, which I'm really excited about. Uh, her redesign looks sick, like, yes, Queen, I love her. And then we've got, um, oh, what was the other thing I wanted to talk about? Oh my god, Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity, basically a Breath of the Wild prequel, it's set in canon. And we get to see everybody die. Yay! Oh, I'm excited. I'm very excited. You should be excited. If you're excited for that, then like and subscribe in this episode, you know, because it's, it's fun. It's cute. <laughs> yeah, these things are hideous when I really look at them. Oh, God. There's two of them. And in slow motion, Tifa drop kicks. <laughs> I love that. Okay, it's probably not a drop kick, but whatever. So that's one. And I think here I sort of turned Cloud into like the item user. Blobby. And counter her, because you know, why not? Pushing it. Watch and learn. Nice. Oh, I love this music. I know, I think I said it one, two episodes ago? Two. Because it was Crab Warden. Yeah. And oh my god, I just, I love it. I think the next few episodes actually will be recorded in this sort of style, like the whole post commentary thing. Um, Cause, well, 
the dog has had a dicky tummy for a couple of days now. Dicky tummy. <laughs> okay, so if you've never heard of the expression dicky tummy, it's basically an upset belly. Heads up, y'all. And this is that elemental materia. We got it. You remember last episode when I said that that one green materia, because we were doing New Game Plus, was elemental materia? Yeah, and now we're back in his old save file? Yeah, and now we've got elemental materia? Yeah? So, uh, weapon adds 8% link to elemental damage dealt. Yes, queen. Okay, so, um, Tifa has a linked materia slot. She might be able to, she would be able to use it. The question is, what would I link? So we've got healing and we've got ice. So if I take healing off and I put elemental in, her punches now do ice damage, which is really fucking sick. I love it. Ah, so there's the purple materia. We're kind of going to need that. I think if I remember right, this was HP up. Correct me if I'm wrong and the game will. So you don't have to. There you go. I'm just going to bring this down. Grab the materia. What do we get? We got... MP up. Thank you. I appreciate what I could do. I appreciate what I could do with that. Look at my baby. Good girl. I think she's gone to sleep for a bit, so I'm going to leave her while she's quiet. Oh. She stresses me out, you know. It's, it's like, it's... It's the parental or like older brother kind of stress. Like, she's my baby, but she's my little sister. Like, I feel a very, very, very big protectiveness when it comes to her. A very strong sense of protectiveness. That's what, yeah, that. That works. We'll word it like that. There we go. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I've been binge watching as well just lately. All work, no play. Uh, critical role. I, f I fucking love those guys. They're awesome. Some of my favorite VAs in the industry. They're amazing. Oh, she's stretching. Good girl. Good girl. I know she's stretching because she's just kicked me. <laughs> Good girl. What can I smell? Excuse me while I just go and check why I can smell a bonfire. Auxiliary power supply confirmed. Reactivating cargo platform. Cargo platform activated. Awaiting input. <laughs> So long on the plate. I hate you too. Wonder what the reactor's like. No. Uh, dismal. A slaughterhouse where they put to the plant. Then there's the smell. The Mako. Be ready for it. Right. Hear that, guys? It's the reactor colonists. Back in the nuts. Very good, girl. Bring it on, Avalanche. Good girl. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Bonfire smell? It's outside. It's fine. I'm like, but the weird thing is, is I have my bedroom window closed to try and block out as much background noise as possible, but I'm recording this with the bedroom door open. Just for easy access straight downstairs to the back door so the dog can just shit herself to oblivion. My sweet baby. My sweet baby. Like, the recording comes second to the dog. Period. Which is why it's a benefit that I've recorded these separately. The uh, gameplay to the commentaries. But no, everything's fine. That's great. Good girl. Roll over. Have a ball. 
Roll over. Roll over. Roll over, baby. No? Okay. That's fine. Tell me about some of the games you guys have been playing on Switch, or on PlayStation 4, or on Xbox, or on Steam. I hear Fall Guys is doing really well. See, this is why I like doing these as premieres, because it almost feels like a live stream without actually being a live stream, and then, of course, with the VODs, you guys can just interject your thoughts in comments. Yay! <laughs> Which is always fun. And Barrett's now level 16. Yes, buddy! should be waiting for us up ahead. He's probably worried sick about us. I need to go check in on my mans, thank you. Even after all that fighting, no one's coming for us? No need. This is Shimmer City. We probably have cameras everywhere. Why didn't you say something sooner? Way too late to bail now. It's like walking a tightrope. When you're on it, only two ways off. <sighs> Better keep my balance. I think I remember this bit. Be because I turn around, don't I? Yes, I do. And I head up here and I'm thinking, where the fuck do I go? And I've missed the ladder behind me. I'm like, where? And I'm like, oh, I see it. Because, like, you know, the blue marker on the floor. So I head up here and that's pretty much it for the episode. <laughs> it's nothing. Just thinking about the next. I didn't think I'd be this nervous. Some things you never get used to. Good girl. Of course, I've got to sh destroy shimmer boxes because I might get a Mako shard, MP shard, whatever, um, just to help restore MP. I get Moogle medals instead because, you know, I'm, I'm a bad bitch. You can't kill me. It's <laughs> a Vine reference. Good girl. Oh, she's very comfortable, aren't you? Yeah. Good girl. When she's comfortable, she's relaxed, and that puts me at ease. My man. Hello, sexy. <laughs> Wait, Cloud. Where's Jesse and Wedge? Report. Topside's going nuts after some terrorists jumped off a train. Nice and quiet here, though. So quiet, I had no trouble securing your route into the reactor. You magnificent son of a bitch! Bring it in. <laughs> so, where are the Come others, on, man? Jesse got hurt and couldn't make it. Bad? Not so bad she couldn't rope in this guy. <sighs> Thanks for stepping up. It's a job. Worked out pretty good. You picking that train you did. While Shinra scours Sector 4, you can waltz right on into Sector 5. It's a bit of a squeeze, but it ought to get you where you need to go. Little dark and foreboding for my taste. Beggars can be choosers. Oh, and you'll be needing your grappling guns, of course. All set? Ready to take on the world and then some. Make sure everyone gets clear, okay? Will do. <sighs> okay, y'all. Keep these grappling guns close. Secure them to your belt or whatever so you don't lose them. When we're done, we'll be using these babies to get down safe. All of us. Got it. <clears throat> I really wish Tifa had just been a little bit more in focus, because that's going to be some nice thumbnail. <laughs> Oh, God. So we got Barrett's new weapon. Yay! Oh, that's great. <sighs> A bit more, More to maybe. the left! The left! Wait. Hurry it up! Fix those <laughs> lights! Excuse me, sir. Your tie? Quickly now! Quickly! Hmm. This place 
reeks of Mako. Looks like we made it. Layout's the same as Reactor 1? Yeah. We're near Mako storage. Let's move. Right, uh, next episode, unfortunately, is gonna be New Game Plus because we did hit another recording snag because obviously with the whole recording commentary versus uh, gameplay separately thing, you know, sometimes things be like that. So if you've enjoyed today's episode of Final Fantasy VII Remake, then by all means feel free to press like, subscribe, and stick around because things are only going to get crazier. Catch you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>